Something always Is this happens. Gonna go on like YouTube or anything? Yeah, yeah. I won't miss the first half hour, but whatever. It's cool. <laughs> Don't worry, people. We didn't miss too much. Everybody gets to do their plugs again. Yeah. And we're gonna do nat nat twenties and nat ones on everything. Yeah, yeah. It. Saving throws, skill checks, um, initiative. Yes, yes. Ability checks. Is that correct too? Yeah. Within reason, of course, you know. Within reason, yes, of course. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Something oh, shit. Cool should happen. Hey, what that's a good looking too. There we go. Nice. Right. Right. I delete. I delete. Oh, I closed your page by accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was closing some other stuff. At some point, I'm going to uh, change my actual profile picture so that it uh, reflects Hajad instead of the Joker. Okay. You might have to leave the game for that and go uh, into your account or your settings. Yeah. You should be able to just open another screen for Roll20. Oh, yeah, that's it. true. And then, and then you can just update this page, or just uh, not update, but refresh. Mm -hmm. And it'll, it'll change. Which is what I'm doing now. <laughs> the paranoid wizard. I need my spell book. <laughs> I hope that wasn't supposed to be a whisper, because it wasn't. <laughs> hmm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to run, run out real quick for five minutes get my drink and uh, be back and uh, we're gonna start the combat simulation whether or not Des is here so I'll be back five minutes prison wallet. Oh my god. You don't know how many times the prison wallet comes up in my game. They are checking prison wall, it's so hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do yourself a favor and don't uh, search what a prison wallet is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things you shouldn't search, whether you believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, like, like Blue Waffle. Do not Google Blue Waffle, spelled B U, I mean B L U E. Waffle. W A F F L E. Do not look up don't. <laughs> Blue Waffle. Save Stop yourself. It, please. <laughs> ever, ever, don't ever look up Blue Waffle. Like right. the color. 
So which one of you and is the food right now? <laughs> uh, that, that was that was back in high school. I don't need to look at that again. <laughs> Also, if you are a fan of the Olympics, do not ever search for a pain Olympics. I guess I'll take a, I'll take a potty break while he's away. Be right back. <laughs> Oh, wait, that's right. He went live. <laughs> I just said that on YouTube. <laughs> oh, no. What's a prison wallet? Pink Dazzle up in the house. What's up, Jeremy? Thanks for joining us. What's a prison yeah. wallet? I said, what's, what's a prison you wallet? You don't know what a prison wallet is? Uh, it's, no. <laughs> it's not kid friendly. Well, well, how do you know what a prison wallet is and I don't? <laughs> because I Googled it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you, did you also, uh, wait, I know what a blue waffle is. Is that a prison wallet? No, no, oh, okay. no, 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 <laughs> a, a prison wallet. No, I was, I was, ex things. I was explaining to her, uh, to not, um, look up a blue waffle. Oh, she didn't fall for it, right? I hope not. <laughs> No, I'm not that curious anymore. Oh. <laughs> right, we are all here. I guess Des will just show up when she does. Otherwise, I'll do a session zero between now and the next game uh, with her <coughs> personally or them personally. And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, let's see. Okay. Everybody, do me a favor and just drag your tokens onto the screen please in the middle let's do it let's do it, let's do it. Oh. my token is still very very large oh you're a big kitty <laughs> big kitty yeah. all right cool um meow meow Everybody, if you can, if you click on your token, you're going to see three red circles. A red one, a green one, and a blue one. Uh, the red one, please put your armor class. Um, the green one, please put your hit points, your max hit points. And in the blue one, please put your passive perception. Um, is that from left to right? I'm absolutely red, green, color blind. Does it start oh, with yeah, red? yeah. It starts with red, yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you. No problem. Uh, green was what again? Hit points. Okay. And the blue one? 
Passive perception. What the hell? Oh, press you, enter. You have to hit enter in order for it to stick. Yeah. Do you want us to do a bar for that, or do you want it to just be those numbers there all the time? Well, we're going to set up the bars in a minute. Can you see the green bars on the other tokens? On tokens that are not yours? Yes. Do you see the number also, or just the green bar? The number. Oh, yes, now I can. I see this one. How the I hell do I get rid of the number? I think if you have the bar, then you have to have the number, don't you? Yep. Okay. It is what it is. So I wanted to do that for the monsters, but I don't want you to see their hit points. I just want you to I see... Hit <laughs> What's up? All of us? <laughs> Except the wizard? Everybody has 38 hit points? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Holy oh, shit. Okay, cool. Let me that link... That makes sense, though. All right. Um, Dibble, do you have dark vision? Yes. Uh, Pandacorian. No, I don't think I do. No, we got chip in the dark judge department. All right, so uh, I was wondering about that actually. Okay, so only Man does actually see very well in the dark. Yeah, so do cats, but not in five E. <laughs> not in five E. Not in five E. All right, so okay, so that's that. That's that. Halflings, no dark vision, right? No dark vision. Okay. Only the back city has dark vision. All right. All right. God, are we all animals except for Jules? Yeah. So, and she's an animal. Des Des doesn't play uh, an animal. What am I doing here? Linking everybody's character. Oops. Oh no! Wait, wait! Don't, don't click anything for a second, please. Anybody? Let me just link everybody's tokens to their characters. For everybody watching, what I'm doing now is I set up everybody's vision so every time they drop their characters onto a screen it should already be set up should Let's see Everybody's screen go black? Yes. Yes. All right. Yep. All right, cool. This. How doth I whisper? 
uh, slash w space and the person's name, and it should auto populate. Then you can whisper to that person. Oh. Uh -huh. Alright, cool, Tati. Thank you, I'll check that out. Okay. Me be lagging. Okay. Does everybody see the red ping on like the top left corner? Okay. That worked. Cool. Yep. Yes. Uh, do me a favor and just drop your token anywhere in that vicinity. I'm going to reboot real quick because my computer is lagging. <laughs> uh, you gotta roll a slide of hand check, DC 15. See everybody's token except <coughs> mine. Correct. Uh, did I accidentally put like three of them out there? Yeah, so that, yeah. I don't see them. I don't. I don't know why. Is it? Um, I see one. Oh, that's weird. No, no, nothing recorded for you. I see something. Where's the music? Where is the music? Nobody hear music? I can hear, I hear music. music. Really? I don't hear it. Same That's here. weird. Is my token still really, really huge? Nope. Nope, nope. Can everybody see on the map? I don't see anything. It's a black screen. Okay, let me set you up again. What about now? Still black screen for me. I can see my token now. Okay. It's black, but I see the token. Yeah, I don't see my token at all. All right. Hmm. Oh, my stuff is gone. What about hey. now? You're up. Yep, yep. Okay. I'm repopulating here. All right. And uh, Tati and Tyler, you two are good. Yep. I'm you good. Okay. That's weird, why can't it? Is your screen black? Uh, Tati and Tyler? Yes. Yep. Really? Okay. Mine, mine is as well, but I do see just my token. Okay. Control. Uh, let's see if I can... Is it because you guys don't have dark vision? Possibly. Probably. Oh, yeah, we're in a cell, yeah. Oh, hey! Yes, yes. Okay, everybody can see now? Yes. Oh, I see an extra token over here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Alright, we're going to have to redo the hit points and stuff for Hajad and and Dibble. But, I mean, whatever, you, you know? You don't, whenever you get a dead. chance. Why am I not getting music? That's not cool. I... I did update mine. Did it not change for you? No. Nope. Why don't I hear music? <laughs> oh, that's weird.
Come on, roll 20, what's going on? Oh, never mind. I hit the wrong button. Uh, D D with Josh McGee. Uh, we have we have a nature cleric, an assassin, a diviner, a druid. Uh, I'm not positive which type, and we're gonna have a ranger. Yeah. My computer acting really laggy. How how's everybody else's? Hello. Can anybody hear me? No? Hello? Anybody? There we go. Hello? Anybody? Hey, Desi, you're up. How you doing? Welcome aboard. Yeah. Or Des. I'm oh, sorry. I don't even know you to be calling you Desi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Can you, can anybody hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, we hear you. Okay, cool. Do you hear me? Yes. Yeah, there you go. It's weird. The music on my end keeps stopping and my screen keeps on lagging. How's it look on your end? Is it moving smoothly or like the background and stuff? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, the yes. background has disappeared. <coughs> yeah, I don't have white tiles. Yeah. Really? It, at once it looked like um, some cool little like misty stuff. Yep. Now it's just white. Huh. All right. Let's see. That's just my connection. <coughs> Okay, I guess uh, my internet connection can't handle the fog right now. That sucks. I like that fog. That does suck. <laughs> All right, no worries. Um, can anybody... Are you getting the black bars from where the trees are? Yeah. Yes. Okay, cool. And if you yep. move around, everything moves with you? Yep. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty dope. Oh, that is cool. It's really neat. Okay, cool. So pretty much, you know, what's going to happen is whatever you can see, you can see, and whatever you can't, you can't. You know, um, I think what I'm going to do is for the people without dark vision, I'm probably just going to give you dark vision for five feet, just so you can see something on the map. You know, um, for all you know, whatever. But like, if you wanted to have a light spell, you know, or something to that effect, you know, I have cool stuff for that now. So, do you have dancing lights or a light spell? Anybody in this group? I have, uh, I have light, I believe. You do have light? Okay. Alright, so let's just say you have a light spell. What color would you want your light to be? Uh, the best color? The uh, best yellow. color. <laughs> yellow? <laughs> All right. No. Light colored? Let's just say. I also have my badass magic light on my room floor. I got that in three. Figure out what it was. What's the light spell? 4020? Or 30 flat? It is. Whatever it is, uh, yeah, 20 dim, 20 right. Okay. You see that? Uh, I have like this glowing thing on top of me, but didn't change anything. 
let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, if we go back. Trying to fix, I'm trying to fix technical issues, and you guys are doing things. Uh, oh, beautiful! Now is it doing something? It's doing something for me. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so that would be like your light spell or something. All right, let me check the chat. What am I missing here? I can catch things on fire. Light things up. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Yeah, no worries. You know, life happens. Uh, don't Google anything they say. <laughs> okay. Alright, Des, if you are Veldis, I don't know how to say that. So hopefully you'll tell us how to say that eventually. Um, once you get your mic and stuff set up, you know, um, just start building your character. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. I'm going to be running through like a little you know quick combat simulator with these people so if you want just watch it I don't know how familiar you are with roll 20 and uh, we'll just take it from there <clears throat> okay oh boy <laughs> come on Steve <laughs> alright alright so you know let's just say for all intent purposes you guys are traveling throughout the woods you know there's a you know there's a moon out and uh, you're traveling you know through the forest and you come up on this little area uh, and there's a, there's people here with like crazy perception passive perceptions so it's like you're gonna hear some rustling and stuff coming from you know the southeast of you and maybe see some humanoids moving about a little bit you know and then uh okay cool cool you know so at that point let's just you know let's roll initiative just so everybody gets familiar with it if you're not already Open up your character sheet. If you have any questions, let me know. How do I do this? Is the initiative thing on? Oh, yeah. I got to open up the tracker. See? Look at that. Um, Just make sure that you... Where's the initiative tracker? Just make sure that, you know, you select your token before you hit initiative. Yeah, you got to hit your token first. Dibble. Hey, everybody got shitty rules. Why is the music? Is the music like good on your end or does it keep stopping? It's fine. Really? That's so weird. It keeps like stopping on my end. Keep stopping. Okay. That's really weird. All right, I'll figure that out. It's not letting me choose my. Character, there we go. All right, let's try this again. Initiative. Hey. hey. We can roll with my first roll if you want to. I didn't realize I had to click on my token. Uh, no, no, it's like falling off the table. It didn't count. Tyler, you can control your light. Uh, nope. Let's see. You can't select oh, it. There it goes. Okay, now it goes. Okay. It's underneath it. Let's okay. See. All right, cool. I got it back. Again. No idiot. Shift back a layer. Darn you. <laughs> Everybody put it behind you? No, it's behind me right now. Oh, okay. I need it in front of me. So. <laughs> Des, were you able to bring the character across? 
or do you need a character sheet? Uh, I think I need a character sheet. Okay, coming right up. If I'm saying your name wrong or something, tell me. No, you're good, you're good. Alright, cool. Yeah, we did a, we discussed a couple of homebrew rules. Homebrew rules. Um, pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to play with natural 20s and 1s on skill checks within reason. Um, you are uh, natural 20s and natural 1s on saving throws. And what that's going to equate to is if you roll a natural 20, you'll get quarter damage instead of half. And if you roll a natural one, you're going to get double damage. Um, what else was it? Oh, initiative. Natural 20 and natural one. If you roll a natural 20 and initiative, you get a free turn. If you roll a natural one, a natural one, excuse me, you lose your first turn. And then, um, what else was it? Oh, death saves. Uh, you're going to get advantage on all death saves until you hit level six. Um, so we're going to be playing with milestone. So you're going to have about three or four weeks. You know before we lose that benefit hopefully that'll be enough time for you to figure out your character and you know what the limitations are <clears throat> okay any okay. questions just good. yeah any questions just feel free to ask you know as we're playing you know um yeah just go for it no worries and dibble okay you're gonna go first okay since i can't see anything i'm going to hold my action until i can see something you can't see anything at all? Uh, well, I have... Oh, I, I can see. Okay, you can. I can only see what his light shows me. So I don't see... I just heard them say that something was out there. Yeah, you hear some, like, you know, sh shifting around in the leaves, you know, sh 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 a little uh, bit of rattling. I'm pretty sure we could smell it better than we could see it. Or hear it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you can smell, uh, uh, bones. <laughs> bones and like rusted armor you know and uh, decaying leaves you know things like that I'm really upset that the music isn't working what okay so what do you I've want ready music as well now. let's see I will ready this is just a uh a simulation right this is yeah yeah this is just mock combat you have all your gear you know yeah this you're not gonna burn any spells or whatever you know I will ready moonbeam ready moonbeam and uh, what's your trigger uh, when I when I see something come into the light all right Okay. Anything else? Any movement? No. Okay. Um, just for future reference, whenever you're done, just say end turn. And, okay. you know, we'll jump to the next person. All right, Haji. Haji, you're up. What would you like to do? Haji, can you hear me? Very sorry, very, very sorry. I, I was muted. Um, <laughs> strategy, yeah. So by this point, uh, your mic's going in and out. Hello. I can't hear anything you said. So I would there you go. I didn't hear anything you said. Huh? I didn't hear anything you said. All right, let me shut this music off because. Hello. Hello. 
ให้ลืมเฮ้ยก็เห็นสัตว์ตัวฮัลโหล Are you not hearing me I hear you now All right um... Third time's a charm Yeah we gotta do uh, the roll twenty bingo Yeah right. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go across. Yeah, I'm gonna go across the uh, the way here. Um, to backseat. God, fucking damn it! Huh? Uh, backseat is thirty, huh? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna. <clears throat> can I sneak? You can certainly try. Can you do that as your bonus action? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and roll your stealth, and uh, you're gonna move at half speed while hiding. This is fine. All right. Okay. Come on, friggin' stupid internet. <laughs> All right, and we're back. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we go. D and D with Josh McGee. Thanks for stopping by. You are making me go fifteen feet. Yes. Yes. I have gone fifteen feet. Okay. Oh shit! I see something. Uh. I, uh, they were still pretty close. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this um, is what I love about dynamic lighting. It's like you know, it's like oh shit. Uh, um, I see something in the distance. I I'm going to try and hit it from here. Uh, and I'm going to try to shoot this guy right there. Okay. Go ahead, roll up. Uh, all right. It's gonna get my character. It's gonna get uh, a little bit of cover because of these thorn branches and stuff that are sticking out. That is fine. Ooh. Why didn't it? Oh well. Cool, cool. Good. All right, arrow goes by. <laughs> Hit something. But it automatically rolls damage? Yes. For me? Yep. That's yeah. stupid. Why? It saves time. Uh, I guess. How about my uh, my sneak attack? I mean, I'm sure I get a sneak attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do that. Against Undead? Yep. Uh, yeah, back in the day, they needed, like, you know, organs and all of that. 5e. Okay. You know, you just get it. You would have also gotten advantage on your attack because you were unseen. Oh. So if you want to roll again just to see if you get a natural 20, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. yeah, so your arrow goes out and he, you know, it makes a well, clicking hit, sound and it hits something. If I oh, hit yeah, you're an assassin. I forgot about that. Yep. Yeah. So not your crit, or yep. That's why I said the, uh, the 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 rolling for damage in automatic is kind of dumb. Right. Okay, I got you. We're gonna have to set up a macro for you that that does that for you. Okay. And at this level, I can't find it right now because fifth level is gonna be three d six. Cool. Yeah, you should have that on there. The character manager didn't do that for you. It did. It's there somewhere, but uh, I can't find it. Okay. So, um, uh, how, you what do you double it? You double crits. Double the die. So roll another three d six, and then roll another d six plus two. Or d six. I'm okay. sorry. So four d six more total. All right, so four d six. It's gonna be. Uh, 29 points of okay. 
All right, yeah, so the arrow goes through, and you hear a loud clunk against some, like, rusted armor, and then you hear, like, uh, like crumbling to the ground. Anything else? Uh, I think I got something. <laughs> <laughs> and I end my turn. <laughs> All right. Okay, they are going to go. So let's see. Don't mind me, I'm moving these tokens that nobody can see. I see all of them. Oh, that's good. I am very scared. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, now I can... They've come into my field of view. Oh, you can see them too now? I can see these down here. Okay, cool. Okay. I see so many of them. All right, so everybody starts hearing some, like, rattling sounds, you know, as shifting goes through the leaves, you know, and these, uh... Humanoid creatures are starting to sh shuffle towards you all. Does that enable my moonbeam now that I can see them? Uh, yeah. Yes, it does. So, ping the one that you want to target. I missed it. Do it again. Did you, I don't know if you did that. It's a... F oh, it'll be this one. Okay. Did you pull so up the five, spell? Yes, I got it. Here awesome. Chat. Great. And is it um, five foot radius, so it will hit the other one as well, correct? Or is it just five foot total? Five foot total. Is it five foot total? Hold on, let me read it real quick. That's five foot radius. Okay. Yeah, five foot radius, so it's going to be ten feet across. So yeah, oh. I'm going to try to get both of them. All right, you will be able to do that. And I'm going to give you control of your moonbeam. Does it radiate light? Hold on, let me see. Uh, dim light fills the cylinder. Okay, but it doesn't give any light. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh, I think not. All right, so go ahead and roll the, your damage. Um, you should be able to set this up as a macro in your attacks. If not, just go ahead and... Uh, what's my DC? see you think I'd have that memorized was your first time playing the character my character sheet disappeared great fifteen is the DC making a con save deck save Uh, Con. All right, cool. Um, do you want me to roll them individually or together? You can roll them individually if you don't mind. All right, I got a 10 and a 14. Both of those fail, right? Both of those will fail, and they will each take nine points of radiant damage. All right. Yeah, so this, you know, boom, moonbeam of energy comes flying down on them and starts burning them with this radiant energy. My computer's acting really weird. I think I've hit something as well. What did I do there? Yeah, so they start sizzling up and it's like Let's see you. there goes riders lagging away okay um all right so that was your reaction and okay so that was them so now we are up to jewels well i cannot see a thing and i am not sure why you all are shooting at anything here 
Oh, there they are. <laughs> On a scale of one to dead, how bad do they look? They look very dead. Very dead. Very yeah, well. They can't help with that. They're, they're skeletons wearing like tattered armor and they have rusted weapons with them. Yeah, very, very, very unsightly. We can't have that in here. I will divide my magic missile between the two of them and hopefully they both go down. Alright. Go ahead and roll those separately. That did not roll my attack. So two... Um, you get three bolts, right? Yep. Okay, so two on one and one on the other? Or are you just going to keep yes. hitting them? Okay, so... These little bolts come flying out, you know, and blast. So go ahead and roll your damage. Those things look like they were coming for me. <laughs> well, what did you do? Oh, that, 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 that. All right, and James and, you know, Dez, I, we're going to get a lot more into it, like, as the game actually starts. You know, I'm just kind of running through the motions here for now. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm oh, it only goes one at a time. Okay. No worries. I mean, take your time. You know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, so the first one takes both missiles before it drops. The second one... That's enough to take it down. So yeah, as these missiles come flying out, and again, you know, if you want to describe your missiles to, to look like a certain way, you know, feel free to do that. But these magic missiles come blasting out of the little halfling's hands, and you know, doof, 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 and these things all explode and collapse to the ground. All right, so that's that. I'll set them up. You tear them down. Is there <laughs> any more of them? Cannot see from here. Very well. In turn. All right. Let me put the X on this one. Damn it! I'm trying to talk here. Well, I don't <laughs> hear I anything. That I'm fucking muted, muted again. again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Esbjorn, you're up. Let's see. I want to add a token. Now, why did you do that? Come down here. Uh, uh, oh, come here, light. Oh, I can see two dead things. That's good for progress. <laughs> and you see the moon moon there. More dead. 15. Oh. I can go to 20. Oh, good. Good. Okay. Uh, as an action, I will cast. Uh, Let's go, since it's not going to count, let's go Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians. What do you yes, want them sir. to look like? Anything special? Well, they're going to be Fae, so just make it all look Oh, that didn't do it. Come here. Let me see what I have here. There it is. Uh, oh, that didn't do it either. You stupid thing. I mean, it did it. It just didn't come up with the... Uh, actual description and that's like a 15 foot radius right correct i'm designating everybody as of my companions here as friendly so they don't get you know hurt by it then one two three four five six why can't i do that okay close enough Okay. There we go. Okay. So all these little, you know, glowing fairies and stuff and whatever start swirling around the panda cleric. Ooh. And, uh, hold on, let me make sure that you can control these. You should be able to control those now. You got all kinds of buffs going on. And that will end my turn. 
All right. We're back up to Dibble. Okay. For my move, I will move one, two, three, four, five, six. My 30 feet. Then All right, I let me will... let me get a quick acrobatics check as you hop over that boulder. Acrobatics, yes, sir. DC 10, I mean, because you can, like, climb over it pretty easily. All right, you're good. Yep. All right. I, I slide across it like uh, like it's the hood of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> and then I will cast Thorn Whip. All right, and which one? What's the component for that? Is it just a folky, or is it something specific? It is a stem of a plant with thorns. Okay. You know, if you have a foci or focus, it'll cover that. Oh, I do have a, a focus. Yeah. Um, the way Five E is really cool. Um, component pouches and and foci, they will cover any component that does not have a specific value, you know, monetary value attached to it, or if it says that it gets consumed. Some, I think. I'm not even sure about the consumed part. But so with the with the fifty gold pieces worth of ruby dust I have for a couple of my spells, that's something that I can keep on me at all times, right? Um, no. Unless it says that you know it it, it uses it. Zoom. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Usually, usually the money stuff it gets it, like uh, like the diamonds, the like ruby stuff that all gets um gets used up in the spell, right? Used up, yeah. Yeah, we'll check it. It should all say it in there. We'll check them out. I think okay. they're case by case, but okay. So Thorn Whip, you have a range of thirty feet. Um, what would you like to attack? You're gonna ping that. Okay, go ahead and make your attack roll. Uh, can I click on my spell attack bonus? Is there a place to click on that? Uh, let me open up your sheet real quick. You, sh you should be able to have it right in the middle of your main sheet. Oh. I got you. Like where it says attacks and spells or something. Let's see. Let's get in there. Yeah, on your main page. Thorn Whip. Yeah, it's not there. Um, so what you could do, go over to the library real quick, type in Thorn Whip, and then drag it right over to the middle of your main page, and it should put it in there for you. Perfect. Okay, awesome. And I do I do want to use the ability to pull him ten feet closer. Okay. Oh nice. There we go. Alright, so this this, you know, vine whip comes comes out of the hand of the panda and reaches across through the moonbeam. It wraps around the skeleton and yanks it forward right into the the radius of the the Spectral Guardians. Spiritual Guardians. I'm sorry. Okay. Alright, nice. So, nine points of piercing damage. And then, it's going to make a con save versus your uh, Spiritual Guardians. Uh, well, force movement wouldn't do it, but at the start of its turn, it will. Start of its turn? Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Come over here, you nasty. <laughs> and I'll live my turn. Alright. Alright, cool. Hajat, you're up. Uh, I am going to hit this guy. Okay. Good. Roll up. I'm gonna roll regular. Regular attack. My character sheet is already up. Why? That's in dim vision. Are you gonna get disadvantage on that? I mean, I can move closer. Oh, do you want to move closer? Dim lights only. Just Only perception? perception? Okay, never mind. Go ahead, roll up regular though. Sorry. I'll still move closer. Okay. Right Hold on real quick, Dibble. Can you move that moonbeam as a bonus action or anything? I cannot move the moonbeam. Okay. It takes a full action to move it? Um it doesn't say that I can move it in the spell. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, yeah, I think you can. Oh, I can. Oh yeah, I need you to turn you in. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, shoot, I would have definitely moved it. I'm sorry. All right, no worries. I didn't realize no worries. We're all learning here. Okay, Haji, I'm sorry. What are you doing? It's all right. 
All right, a uh, short bow attack on that guy. All right, do you want to try and hide again, or? I mean, I still got a bonus action. Give me, let me, let me attack first. Okay, go for it. Roll a regular attack. Mm -hmm. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna. <laughs> All right. 22. All right. Arrow goes flying by, and it winds up chinking off of its shoulder. Ding. Doesn't seem to do too much to it. Ding. Ding. All right. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to hide here. All righty. Go ahead and roll up. All righty. Twenty-one. Cool. Everybody sees the cat jump off behind the rock and disappears. Some of you can smell them. All right. Um, they go. They continue shambling forward. So one, two, three. Okay. Well, roll your damage because I think it's going to be enough to kill it regardless, even if it takes half. Nice. <laughs> Did it kill it? Yep. <laughs> yeah, so this one just gets, you know, it starts shambling forward and all these little, you know, sprites and pixies are glowing and it just kind of like tears it up and disintegrates it, you know, and it just kind of like fades into the into the background. Uh, this one will have to do it. And anything in this 15 foot radius that's I didn't designate has uh, difficult terrain. Oh, cool. Okay, so actually... It's gonna, yeah. So as it starts moving forward towards you, it starts slowing down, and it's enough to make it lose its action. But it gets to it, gets to you. Oh, hold on. Let's see. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, six. I'll do it. I'll do it. Hold on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. Okay. Wisdom save for one, uh, two, two of them. Got to make wisdom saves, right? Yes. Okay, do you want me to roll them together or separate? Yeah, roll them together. Okay. Yeah, for the new people, what I'll, I'll ask that sometimes, especially when there's like a large number of things just to help speed things up. So, wisdom save. Uh, 11, that's a fail. Yeah, so one takes 16 radiant and the other one takes 11 radiant. Okay. Which one takes more, or why? Because uh, it's a individual, like unless you just want to take the sixteen, but it's an individual instance of damage that sounds like a collective. Oh, you did it twice. Oh, I see what you're saying. I mean, no, nah, we no, nah, we'll just do that per round in the future, just to help you know speed things up. So, like whatever damage you roll, everything will take it for that round. Gotcha. Do, do, do. Yeah. Okay, so both of these will get torn apart. Why can't I pull up the X? Come on. Gotta be that internet connection. Is that one in 15 too, Eric? I uh, yes it is. So let's get rid of that one. Two. Okay. Okay. And that's it for them. Okay, Jules, you're up. I am going to move carefully around those very dangerous looking fairies. <laughs> Alright, you, you walk up to uh, that area that's all dark. It's like a, like a thorn bush. Yeah, it's fine. I'm small enough. <coughs> this one. Right here. Okay. What are you it's doing? It's about to get hit. Look at you. I'm so proud. Mine spike. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Let me see. Psychic damage. Okay. 
What's my save on that? What am I doing? DC 15, waste on save for half. Failed. All right, so eight points. Okay. Yeah, so you concentrate on your magic and, and you focus on this this shambling thing of bones. And you can see it kind of glance over to you through the moonbeam. And you can see, like, parts of its skull start cracking and, like, falling off. But it's still standing. Okay. Okay, anything else? That's my turn. All right. <clears throat> Ezzy, Ezbion, you're up. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can move all these things at once without. <laughs> oh yeah. No. You can just Are drag over. You should be able to drag over everything. Just I tried, but the the box screwed me up. I have to drag wicked far. Okay. okay. I think if, you, I if you start up here, no. you can. There we go. Yeah, I have to start way. Up. Is there only one left? Uh, I guess I'll Sacred Flame that one. Sacred Flame. That's a deck save, right? Correct. Alright, go ahead and pull that up whenever. I'm going to roll up this bad boy. Right. Fails. Alright, yeah, so the, this mode of radiant flame just falls from the sky and, and just crushes right through it straight to the ground and it explodes <laughs> and disintegrates it scatters in a small radius alright and then everything gets quiet and turn <laughs> <laughs> alright so that's cool alright yeah, that happened real slow on my screen. It's still going, that little blast. Okay. Yeah, I gotta look at my internet and figure out what's going on with that. It's been running beautifully, like, all week. I've been testing it and doing all this cool shit. And, and now it's showtime. It's like, hey, dee dee dee. Alright, so, Dibble, you're up. What would you like to do? I don't see anything dead moving anymore, do I? Correct. Boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> we should be careful, and I will hold my action until if I, I'm, in case I see anything else come into the light. What's your passive perception? Oh, Fourteen. Fourteen. You can see a faint glow coming from this area. Very faint. Which it's area? coming from within the ground, like below the ground. Can you can see you the red ping? Okay. Yes, I can. Yeah. I will it's like move a, my moon beam. I can move it uh, 60 feet. Yep. So, uh, yeah. There's a measuring tool on the left. It looks like a little circle with like a little yeah. comb in it. There you go. Yep. And Where can there. I see that? Can you ping that one more time? Right here. Oops. Hold on. Right here. That's where I'm going to. That's where I'm going to move it. All right. I'll move it right over top of that. Go for it. Is that correct? Too far. Yeah, I'll move it. Right here. I've lost it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't see it, right? Um, yeah, I don't see it now. Pull, pull up the spell real quick. Does it have to be within an area you can see? Oh, actually, you know what? No, oh. you see the glow. So. Yeah, I can see Yeah, you'll, you'll be able to see that. So, hold on. Let me, let me fix that then. Let's see if this helps. Can you see it now? It, indeed. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. All right, so you're there. Um, go ahead and roll that damage and give me a save. You need a save? Or tell me my save. I'm sorry. Oh, for the spell, I believe it's 15. 15? Okay. Oh wait, what what kind of save is it? Constitution. Oh, no. Come on. 
Okay, yeah, I rolled. Okay. Alright, it failed. So go ahead and roll that damage. Oh, nice. Okay. You send your beam over there. And... You start then seeing like this radiant sizzling I energy will coming. Ready my thorn whip, uh, just in case I see anything come up into the light. Well, no, it's going to be your action to move the I beam. Yeah, so so you'll still have a bonus action if you have it. It's going to take your action to move the beam. Oh, that is my action. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so what you do is you send that beam over there. Okay, and no, then I, that ends my turn. Okay, so yeah, you send the beam over there, and you realize it's like a, it looks like a grave that, that hasn't been filled in or it's been freshly dug up. And like a green, uh, sizzling, radiant energy starts coming out of that hole, and you see a large skull that's about three feet tall start like floating out of it. And it seems like it's burning with that radiant energy from the moonbeam. Can you see it on the map or no? Anybody? Uh, I, yes, I do see it. You do? Okay, cool. All right. Uh, so that's your turn, Haji. You're uh, up. what? So actually, everyone should be able to see that. Can you see the green skull or no? I don't see the green skull. I oh. am currently blocked by the tree, but I can see where the moonbeam is. Okay. Why is it that? Yeah, oh. the moonbeam kind of. Uh, washes it out but I think I can see it under there yeah it's yes. in there yep okay yeah so oh, everybody okay. can see like this you know it's like maybe three feet tall and it comes floating up and it's just like a big green glowing skull and it rises Something. and it's giggling it's like <laughs> and it does that <clears throat> Haji you're up alright agility to go fast. You're going fast. Buddy, buddy, fast. Let's see. Really cool. So it doubles. Everything. Yeah, it doubles your movement for the entire round. That's what we in the business call amaze balls. I'm gonna just get right up on top of it then. Okay. Ooh. Uh, let me get a quick athletic uh, acrobatics check as you hop over that rock. And you, you run right through. Alright. Come on. Keyboard, don't hit the back. Yeah, so Wait, everybody's hey, athletic or acrobatic? Acrobatics. Acrobatics. All right. Yeah, you take notes anyway. from the panda before sliding over that rock, and you just mimic his moves, and everybody sees a Naruto run. You know, as he runs down to the moonbeam and <laughs> scatters up like you know the fallen leaves up in the air. <laughs> Go ahead and move yourself there. I'm like running. Uh, I'm running so fast that not even bullets can hit me. I can <laughs> get inside of Area 51 if I wanted to. Um, there you go. Um, when you enter the moonbeam, I think for the first time, you might have to make a save. Let me pull it up real quick. Okay, wait. Have we traveled together? Uh, no, this is just like, combat in, sim. In this, in this in situation, this, in this, no. In this, like, <laughs> simulation, has this party, like, traveled together? All right, let's just say for all intent and purposes, it has. Just for this. I feel like I was dead. What happened? To me as well. <laughs> he, stops, he stops short and slides. As he realizes that the moonbeam is burning up this green skull that's inside of it. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I'll take uh, out my... 
your mic's going in and out. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I hear you. All right, what'd you say? It's out again. What's going on? Hello? Not me. Haji. Eric is missing in action for me. I hear you. Mm. Can you hear me now? That's a no. Yes. Oh, okay. There you go. Good, good. Okay, cool. Yes. Hello. Yeah, we're going to do some bingo. We'll set those up again. Um. Okay, so what are you doing, Haji? I'm poking a dead body with a stick, uh, a.k.a. using my short, short sword. sword. To poke around in this in this general vicinity, uh, with like yeah, well, without there's... like putting my arm in the burning light. All right, you're gonna have to move around, um, because there's actually like a big open pit in between you and it. Okay, perfect. That'll work. All right, so, really... so go ahead and roll your attack. Cool. Oh, it's a okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. Short sword. <laughs> All right. That's a dirty 20. Uh, uh, that's a hit. No sneak on this or whatever. Seven. So, okay, so you go running up ahead, you slide around the moonbeam, drag, you know, pull out your sword sword, and then you take a quick jab at it. As you get closer, you can see this thing is like kind of non-corporeal. So it's like your sword almost effortlessly goes through it. And when you pull away, it's like some of its essence comes with the sword. You know, as you pull away and uh, it just turns to you and it looks. Is you it know, just me or is that? You were cutting off, man. Okay, sorry. Okay, no, um, you go run around the moonbeam. You know, and you slide through the grass, and then you go to stab it with your sword, and you can see that it's kind of like non-corporeal, like you know, it's uh, it's not solid. So you go to stab it, and as you pull your short sword away from it, you can f like some of its essence gets stuck to the sword as you pull it away, and then it pulls back to the skull. Did you hear me? Hopefully. No. Can anybody hear me? No. Oh my God! What's going on? All right, let me reboot. Uh oh. Hello? This is embarrassing. Why are we having such shitty connections? Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Hi. I can hear you now. Hello. Hi. Okay, yeah, so you go you go running through, slide around this moonbeam, stab this big glowing skull with your short sword, and you can see that it's kind of like non corporeal. You know, it's not solid. So as you pull your sword back, like some of its essence gets stuck to the sword and then snaps back into it and it just like kind of floats and looks at you and turns and you know it just keeps laughing like <laughs> and uh, that's it anything else oh, oh, is like a bonus action, right? I can't. oh man I can't hear anybody Des, I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, use that link. Nope. 
nobody? What's going on? Hello? Yes. Hey. All right. Damn, I don't know what's going on. I apologize for that. Um, and we lost the light token. Do you see the light token on your screen? I still... Oh, wait. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, I, I don't have it on mine. Okay. All right, whatever. Very weird. Roll 20. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, um... I'm gonna just uh, take dodge just in case. Uh, how, can you take dodge as a bonus action? Uh, I believe so, as part of. Um, no, I think you get dodge. Second. I mean, not dodge. Dash, disengage, and hide. I think. Let's pull it up. Oh. Oh, he's correct. Yes. You are right. You are. Yeah, right. it's dash, disengage, and hide. All right. Bug it. Bring it on. Bring Peach. it on. The kitty says. Okay. This cat looks at you, and it takes a massive bite at you. And I'm assuming it's 26 hits. Uh, no, that actually misses. <laughs> <laughs> Wildly. Yeah, that's funny. All right, and that is absolute bullshit. But you take three points of necrotic damage. Welcome to roll 20. How does that even happen? Um. <laughs> I think, first of all, I think that you rolled 20 plus 6 instead of d20 plus 6. But oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Hold on. <laughs> That's how he grits every time. I'll, 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 still, <laughs> I'll, I'll, still, I'll still take that, that 3 damage, though. All right, 19. Does that hit you? <laughs> that definitely does. Okay, cool. All right, everyone, just so you know, Tati is a very observant person. She will catch any of us in all of our mistakes. And it's a good thing, so yeah. Um yeah, so you, you take three points in necrotic damage. Like what the fuck? Okay. And it kinda like tilts its head a little bit. Seventeen degrees and it's like what the fuck? And Jules, you're like <laughs> Oh. Um Yeah, I'll do that. I will move forward. Still staying away from those fairy things that are keeping me out. Okay. Yep, I will fire at it. Uh, Firebolt roll. Firebolt. All right, a little magical bolt of energy comes flying from behind the bush through the glowing whirlwind of fairies and strikes at this thing. And with that, that's enough for it to dissipate. It just, you know, explodes in a in a burst of necrotic energy and just fades away with its laugh you know. and that's it you know um it has yeah i mean that's that's pretty much how combat's gonna run you know um you know just so everyone gets a you know i wanted everybody to kind of see how the map works with the dynamic lighting blocking line of sight you know dealing with the environment like jumping over that rock you know things like that um Anybody have any questions? Hopefully I can get all this stuff figured out by the time we start because I am having a shit ton of technical glitches here and we're losing a lot of cool stuff like the music and the fog and whatever. Do you think it's possible that with by utilizing all of us on voice on here that it's taking more of the like Roll 20's capabilities? I mean, it, it's a possibility, you know, but the thing is, I know with the maps, if anything, it, it might take time for it to upload. But once it's uploaded, it's there. You know, it's like it's not taking like internet anymore. Um, the voices, it really shouldn't be a problem. I mean, we can always try Discord. My only issue is like with Discord, I'm afraid of it not recording, like for the YouTube. Like I'm sure it'll come up on the stream, but I'm worried about it not, you know. Um, but I'm having a shitty connection, so there's something on my end. Something just popped up. On my window, can and uh, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, now we. You, yeah, I'm you getting were cutting out really, really bad. Like no combat. Oh my god. I don't even know why that little apostrophe popped up in there. Yeah. 
connection is so bad that even your typing is uh Yep, it's affecting my typing. <laughs> That's why I don't feel feeding for three hours before. Oh Alright, so I mean can anybody hear me? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, all right. So yeah. So that's just a quick glimpse of combat. How it's going to work. How I work with the terrain. You know, uh, things like that. Um, does anybody have any questions regarding their characters no. or anything? Any rules? You know. Um, as far as spells go, if you guys want to describe your spell casting, I'm all for that. If you don't, it's not that big of a deal. You know, especially as things get cast over and over and over and over again. You know, we could just use our imaginations to assume you're doing the same thing as before. Um, I try and be visual with combat. It slows it down a little bit. But it kind of, you know, helps with the visuals. And it actually buys you a little bit more time. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to probably put like a five minute time limit on each person's turn. You know, and that time limit will get decreased the higher your level. And uh, that just adds to the, you know, to the intensity of the, the situations and shit. Oh, no. Don't worry, I can hear you. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to repeat that. Okay. Um, hopefully it's recording on my end, you know. So, um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it, you know. If there are no questions, you know, we could end this here. And we'll just pick up, you know, next Wednesday at 6.30. Uh, Des, if you have any questions or anything, or you want to do a quick session zero with me on the side throughout the week, um, I'm open to do that. You know, we can, uh, we can, <laughs> we can, you know, work. <laughs> we can figure something out. You know, coordinate our schedules. That way, you can get your feet wet, and then, uh, you know, I'll go over and look through, you know, your character. Do you have any questions about your character? Yeah, I feel like I missed a lot here. <laughs> Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, are you familiar with Roll20 or are you new on Roll20? Uh, mine specifically, I, I guess. Um, I made the token. Uh, okay. Not sure how to upload that. It, it'll be the same way you uploaded, you know, the suit. The, oh, no, no, no. That's not it. All right, what you do is you go to your character. You know, you open up your character sheet. And then you go to hit edit. And you should be able to... Bring up your token from there. Upload it. Trying it now. <laughs> like a bad dream. I only hear Des right now. Well, when they were speaking. Eric, you're back. I am back. I never left. I, I can hear you. My computer. I can hear you, can hear you now. There we go. Okay. Oh, real quick. Anybody, are there any specific pronouns that you want to be addressed as? So we know now. Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Everybody's cool with he, she? I'm assuming that's a yes. Okay. Oh, okay, let's see. I have a question. Do you think the anthropologist Margaret Mead's strange behavior of late can be explained by a private mind? I don't even know how the, who that is, but I'm going to say yes, because everything can be explained by a private marijuana addiction. All right. Brown rice. <laughs> Putting your connection on rice. I don't get it. I don't even understand what that means. <laughs> Holy if it's what? Toilet maybe? We're talking about telemarketers and brown rice. I don't I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so so Des just you know, um PM me, you know, whenever you get a moment and uh, let me know what your schedule is gonna be like or when you're gonna be available from now until like next week or whatever. And I'll run a quick session zero with you. Uh the weekends are ideal. You know, um, but, you know, I'm pretty much open almost all the time. Not tomorrow night, because I got a game that Tyler's running. <clears throat> Can nobody hear anybody? Am I talking to myself?
Anybody? Hello? Hello? Oh, I hear I hear background noise. I think I was talking to myself oh my the God. whole time. Uh, we have an Eric. Eric. Yeah. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Scared me. I'm not he repeating. I'm not. Re I'm not repeating side. that. But uh, what I was saying is, Des, you know, shoot me a PM whenever you get a chance. I'll run a, a quick session zero with you, just to explain the mechanics go over your character. Um, the oh, okay, all right. So maybe it's just on my end. And then uh, let's see. Yeah, and then you know, I'll just run through something with you. We'll go over your character. I'll explain the mechanics, you know, stuff like that. Um, also, sure, sounds good. Sounds yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll just figure all that out. So, I mean, if nobody has if any you questions, guys do that, go ahead. Eric. Yes. End up doing that, Eric, and you want another player there? I could gladly come on because I. Well, if you want, I'll tell you what. You know, when 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 we coordinate, I will let you know when we're gonna do it, and if you can make it, you're more than welcome. <laughs> You're gone. You're gone, You're Eric. Him. I'm gone again. <laughs> Shit. Sounds vicious. All right. Um, yeah. Well, well, he might be back. You guys ever seen a freak? There's a there's a and uh, and Don was almost freak where uh, where the father is is saying the one thing that I want you to do today is. <laughs> He, no, no. It was like the most important thing that I want you to do today is, and then a train passes by. So all you hear, <laughs> so all you see is like him moving his mouth, and the he background do, 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 do. That's too funny. I heard you Just perfectly clear around the train. That's literally, that's literally what Eric is doing right now. That sucks. So this is what I want you guys to do. do, 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 do. <laughs> It's like going to McDonald's and you go to the drive-thru and it's like, yeah, I want a number with a large and an extra side of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, but, but you ever noticed, you ever noticed that the people, that the people listening, like, always know your order, though? No. It's like, can I get a, uh, can I get a number? Bandwidth, with yeah, a, it, could, it could be bandwidth. Definitely not RAM. Um, and, my computer's uh, a design computer. It's a powerhouse. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was talking to the people in Twitch. We actually have people in Twitch watching. That's fucking awesome. Thank you so much for showing up. Oh, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, that's really cool. This is awesome. Sociology Tommy, thank you so much for hanging out. Pixel Doc, thank you for showing up. Oh, uh, yeah, this is awesome. Hank Dazzle made a quick appearance earlier. Yeah. What's up? So here's my very serious question. Yeah. Uh, for those of you on Twitch listening, uh, have you heard him the entire time? Because if you did, uh, <laughs> maybe it's us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I mean, hopefully. I feel like I'll, I'll find I out when like I we're record gonna, it. We're gonna need you guys to like transcribe for us. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Twitch is more stable than the game itself. Oh, feel the burn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> feel the burn. It's true, though. I want to I wanna thank my D&D &D 420 people for showing up. D&D &D 420 in the house. D&D &D 420 in the house. Thank you for showing up. Steve, tell us about your, uh, you know, your, your, your YouTube stuff. What's, what's going on with that? Didn't you have one the other day? Anything? No? Uh, well... <laughs> well, uh... The, the, um... The YouTube show, uh... Magic and Misfits just ended, as a matter of fact. Um... But it's, I mean, the episodes that we do have are still available uh, for your viewing pleasure. Uh, Is there an address? We've also got an all-female <clears throat> um, an all-female show called Maiden Voyage as well. Uh, so you guys can check that out. We've also got some one-shots that we've done. Um... And uh, and then we also have a a like kind of sister channel 
uh, called No Ordinary Heroes that we uh, that we always like you know shout out them as well. No That's Ordinary cool. Heroes can be viewed on Twitch. So yeah, um, but uh, but yeah, so you uh, so Magic and Misfits on YouTube. Unfortunately, there will be no more episodes because because <sighs> Google hates us. But yeah, so. Um, yeah, so everybody go happened? ahead and check those out. Uh, Hangouts, Hangouts uh, got taken down, or is getting taken down tomorrow. Google Hangouts. Oh. Damn you, Google Hangouts! Don't worry, there's other ways. You know, you can try OBS, you can try Skype. Um, there's so many different options yeah. out OBS, there. OBS, OBS makes my makes my computer slower than like than like Roll Twenty. <laughs> what about Discord? Have you tried that? Yeah, I mean that's yeah. that's I, the next option. Yeah, can't you do like a video through Discord also? I think it's an option. I don't know anything about it, but I think it's an option. Mm, I, but I mean, it's the it's really the streaming that that uh, that's the biggest issue. Yeah. Gotcha. And then what I'll do is uh, when Des and I do our <laughs> yeah, session zero, when Des and I do our session point, zero, we're gonna try at this, this point. One. It's just hard to be. To, at this point, it's just good to be like playing D and D. Oh yeah, you know, instead of like having to worry about streaming the shit. No, it's definitely not PG. It's more that like was, uh, that was uh, NC seventeen. NC seventeen plus. There you go. Yeah, for mature audiences. Yup, because there's gonna be sociology, some interesting... Tommy. Yeah, it's gonna be Asked, some interesting. Is this PG? In yeah. the beginning of the stream, I told these guys to 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 Google. How dare you! All right, I'm I'm trying to keep my language under wraps here. I'm trying here. Yeah, we will. I'm sure there'll be a couple of gangs that we can milk throughout the next year or so. But uh, you know, I'm former military. There is no there is no PG in my language. <laughs> All right. So, all right. Anybody? Quick questions? Anybody? Anybody? Yes? No? Maybe so? No. No uh, questions no. from me. <laughs> all right. Cool. So that'll, you know, let's wrap up Session Zero with this. Um, everybody who tuned in, thank you for watching. You know, make sure you like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash the D20 initiative. <laughs> um, same thing on Twitch. Hit those like and subscribe buttons. YouTube, we need to get 100 subscribers in order for us to be able to label the URL. Um, right now, it's really hard to find because they want to autocorrect it and make sure. And I'm sure I'm talking to nobody. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow. And, uh, oh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to be playing uh, Relics of Cos, you know, run by Tyler over here. And uh, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Maybe. Is there? Is Eric? Oh. Yeah. I'm. I'm here, kind of. We'll do it when, like, we have a better connection, Eric. We'll just do it then. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Everyone, thank you for showing up. Have a good night. And uh, is it Wednesday yet? Yay! <laughs> <laughs>